you know, I've started dancing all around the lounge again like I used to do, you know, jumping off tables and being a bit of a lead. <laughs> Things I used to do without any drinking involved. <laughs> Already, just in five weeks, without pills, without drugs, okay? Ariana's fitness improved 85%, her blood pressure dropped, and even more telling, her insulin resistance improved. That's great. Looking at your fasting insulin has dropped from 1,080 to 143. Which is massive, Ariana. It is absolutely In incredible. Obviously being, being good. Yeah, yeah. As I understand it, I think your insulin level is one of those biomarkers of ageing. Something you can't see, but something in your internal metabolism, physiology, that if it reduces the amount of insulin, increases your body's tolerance of it, that's probably more akin to a younger person than an older person. Body mass index. Vic's body fat reduced from 26.2 to 20.8 percent, and his high blood pressure returned to normal. I'd be surprised if you ever need drugs for your blood pressure. Okay. Yeah. To do it hardcore like we all have, or I have for the last six weeks, is probably a little bit more sterile than I would choose. I've done it for the commitment to the program and give myself a good chance of really evaluating it honestly. I've done that. I wouldn't want to be that strict with my life. I think you've got to have some vices. I've always wanted to eat all the fresh fruit and vegetables, but you do it for a while and then it, you let it go because it's, it's hard work. But the eating's quite easy. Um, the weights that we do, the four videos, they're really easy. The walking, the relaxation techniques, it's a lot of tools that make it a lot easier. Yeah. Well, I can oh. see the difference in it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I know. Yeah, and uh, you seem more confident and, uh, yeah. and, and all. Terry's body fat reduced from 35 to 32% and her overall fitness increased 65%. You had a problem before with your triglycerides. See those free fats yeah. running around in your blood? Peter's blood fats dropped from 3.6 to 1.1, well into the normal range. Dropped right down into the normal range. Well, he's been eating heaps of fat too. <laughs> The right kind of fat. Yeah. The diet's done wonders for me. Like I've got um, my stomach so much better, and I've got my weekend energy back. Yeah. But I'm still finding that there's obviously something interfering with the process. Belinda was disappointed that her results stayed pretty much the same, even though her fitness <laughs> improved 31 percent. 107 percent fitter. Joelle also reduced fasting insulin from 725 to 280 and her blood pressure became normal. <laughs> Danny's fitness improved 41% and his cholesterol ratio also improved. I think when I was about 20, I was about 65, 64 or 65, so that's... So in five weeks, you're five halfway weeks. to being 20. That's right. I was absolutely astounded by the results we got. You could expect good results like that after three months, but we got them in five weeks. I was stunned. The sooner we bring orthodox medicine and natural health together, the sooner we will support the level of health of New Zealanders. This could be like the Berlin Wall. I think that, uh, that this change is going to happen fairly rapidly. When you take a plant, take a fruit, a vegetable, it's very much like an orchestra. There's hundreds of different compounds there that all work together to give us the benefits. We get older because, we, because of disuse, not because our, our body systems stop working. The balance between you know, our vegetables and you know, low carb and lots of protein has been you know, tremendously beneficial. I think I'm starting to revert the, the trend, the what we call hereditary, you know, things that are passed on. I, I think I've started to reverse all of that and um, through proper eating rather than medication. I've got a couple of goals I want to achieve. I know I can do it using this system. Um, there's, there's just some questions I've got in my mind about the place of uh, things like the grains and stuff like that. I feel that these 
physical strength that it has given me has allowed me to get off the tread treadmill in my own life, particularly with my work, to basically express what I want. What I've learned to do on this is trust my body. If, if I win lotto, somehow it's going to make me happy. You know, but in this way, it's the starting at the basic level of eating well, exercising well, and it, it, it works up to achieving what else you can know. My role is simply really to find out things, tools, techniques that people can use to change their lives for the better. I really believe that uh, each one of us has such rich creativity inside us and we're so unique. And our job while living on this planet is to live out as much of it as possible. And, I, and strangely enough, in order to do that, we really need to be healthy. That is not just not ill, but really lots and lots of energy. Two months after this filming, all eight participants were still continuing with the lifestyle changes they had started for our experiment. Some less strictly than during the five weeks, but all of them were now determined to die young late in life.